Nestled in the birthplace of the Industrial Revolution lies a town born from the toil and tears of a proud working class community. That town is Witness, built on a heady mix of chemicals and high mortality rates. Witness, where dentistry was unheard of and rickets was a career option. Witness where gossip flowed down gills and heavy drinking was a rite of passage. Witness, a town that has survived many storms and whose simple folk are proud of their long-held traditions. And from the silt-bound banks of this northern paradise emerged one of its most famous sons, Edgar J. Kennedy, the leading proponent of the angry old man's school of poetry. This film follows him on a journey of what it is to be northern. It is a story of how one man's vision has inspired other artists to follow in his wake. Us in the north, we're a community, a group that hope. And here in the pub, we feel part of a group where we're loved, we're liked, and we're admired. And in that pub, we feel warmth, kindness, a loving word, warm beer. And if you don't mind, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go into my local pub and be greeted by my friends. Yikes! I have no f***ing wit. I have no words. No tears. My heart within me. Like a stone. Is numbed too much for hopes or fears. Look right. Look for left. I dwell alone. Ted Hughes. Do not go gently into that good night. Old age should bear and rave. Rage. Rage against the dying of the light. Amy Thompson. Dylan Thomas. There was a old man from Nam took it. Rats, rats, plagued by my past, cause me past was last. Rats on the telly, as I ate my meal, this was wrong. This fucker was real! But who is the real Edgar Kennedy? And who was he before he became angry and bitter? For that, we have to go back to the 1970s and his hugely unsuccessful band, Edgar J. and the Hoovers of Invention. Rock and roll! God! Literature, poetry, soul. Theory of evolution versus supreme being. You may witness life evolving, but are you sure what you're seeing? I don't know the answers. I'm northern, never trust a southerner. My old boss was a southerner and he sacked me. In sales, he called me in, he said I wasn't hitting me targets. And what's all this about the unexplained absences? But that wasn't the real reason. The real reason he gave me the sack was that my face didn't fit. So what company were you working for? Grecian 2000. In more recent times, Edgar J's name became synonymous with notoriety. 
Viewers saw him attack the host of an online arts programme, Bush Felcher. Well, you see what it is? Hmm? It's because it's about sense and shite. <laughs> That's my own crap. I've put my ends in your shit, prof. My now, head. hold on one second. Are you what? calling my work yet? But this was just a foretaste of what was to come. Shortly after the bush felcher to do, an incident occurred on a Mersey ferry that was to fix Edgar J. Kennedy's name squarely in the minds of the public. There was drama on a Mersey ferry today when a passenger is reported by witnesses to have become ill, then abusive, then violent, whilst shouting that he was seizing control of the ship and demanding to be taken to Cuba. The man is believed to be a local poet, Edgar Kennedy, of no fixed abode. He was later arrested and then sectioned for 14 days pending a medical assessment. But since then, Edgar J has been working on what he calls a song cycle of despair. This is my magnus opus. I want you to feel the grit of tears, the smell of despair, the violence of silence. In other words, I, I want you to feel what it's like to be a northerner. It's called W! Hello, hi, I'm Catrice. Um, I am the creative director and freelance animateur here at um, Deep Cuts Theatre. Uh, I also am a holistic therapist and I design jewellery out of polenta. So, pardon. Frida Kahlo. <laughs> so, tell me, what is an animateur? Um, From the moment I read this book of poetry, I just knew it was the voice of the North. A voice in the wilderness that just demanded to be brought in and given a hot meal. It was exactly the voice we needed for our next theatrical production and, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't use the word genius lightly. <laughs> the plan for this next venture was just to create something bold, fresh, something challenging. This will be theatre for local people with local talent to do local plays to local audiences. <laughs> Which means what exactly? Well, it's um... So can you tell me, what makes Edgar J. Kennedy so different to other writers? Talent! You well, could you expand? No! <sighs> My words are like vandalism on the tombstones of the establishment. Witness where the despised live. Witness where chavs come to breed and dreams come to die. I hate all that. With the these and the thous and the bowing and the scraping. Shakespeare, Shelley, Wordsworth, Milton, Keats. Take Keats. I will arise and go now and go to Innistree and a small built cabin there of clay and wattles made. Wattles? They are all about. I like the direct approach. Like me. Like the North. Like my North. I wrote a play once and it had two words. It's about this fella coming back from work. He walks down a cobbled, roach infested ginnel. Comes into his house, takes off his flat cap, puts his whip in, in the sideboard, looks up at his wife and says, Out! And she looks back at him and replies, Out! Words are rabbits! I am a shovel! It's about life, it's about lice, it's about death, damp and despair! It's about toil, crutches, means test! It's about stale bread! It's about rain coming through the crack in your soul! Piss on your grandma's wallpaper! And a one-eyed cat peeping in a seafood store! Open up some 
minds in there. Loose up some shack fish, shall we? No, you can't loose in my shack, I love not with my f***ing back. Shack? It's not a place in town. Uh, no, it's in Wales. <laughs> <laughs> to get her cast into the right state of mind for creativity, Catrice has devised some warm up exercises. Listen there, everybody, that's another conversation straight back into it, down with dog. Alright, I'm just breathing there for five deaths or so. One. Two. You're right. A, B, C again, we've done it before. Oh, oh yes. Yeah? Yes, yes. We all remember. Alright, so if we start with that, we start with you. A is for ass. B is for bastard. C is for cocks. <laughs> D is for dickhead. Okay. E for ethereal. A for ass, B for bastard, C for cocks, D for dickhead, E for ethereal, and F. Four. For fuck's sake! Oh, um, uh, as you were. <laughs> what? Amazing. So, we're warm, we're ready, we're engaged, fantastic, couldn't ask for more. Alright, so basically what we're going to do now is like a sort of animalistic game where we go from one to each person and we pick a character but our character has to be a dog, our own animalistic essence, so to speak. Alright, so basically, so I'll go across the room and okay, so oh, I'm a bird, okay, so fly over there, fly over and no, no, you don't just copy what I do, so you'll pick, you pick another character. Oh. Alright, uh, elephant. Elephant, elephant. Oh, great, great, take it across the room. Nice, now bring that into, into the body, into the body, George. <laughs> Excuse, excuse me, is this you uh, doing your animal or is this just you? This isn't right. Why? Exploiting poor defenseless animals. No, 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 it's a theatre exercise, so we're just, you know, just exploring our inner animal feelings. Ah, it's just a bit of fun, love. <laughs> you call making two defenceless animals fight one another. A bit of fun, do ya? Right. Do you fleshy <laughs> to back with it, boy! You are a tree, connect with your inner chi. I can't do this. I, I can't do it, my back keeps prolapsing. See this place, Rice? See this place? This would fall to bits if it wasn't for me. I'm Dory, and I'm the caretaker of this place. Oh, yeah, I am. And you see them out there? They're me brood. And I'm like an agony aunt to everyone. They come to me with all the problems and that. <laughs> Everything that they have problems with, you can guarantee they come to Dory. That's the way it is. That's the way I am. Just a born leader. It's just something in me. I was born like that. And this, this place here, and you see, you wouldn't even have these tiles. It wasn't for me. I got them cheap. Off Jimmy the knife. Yeah. You can pass these to me. Yeah. See that? Oh, I've got them. Done that all myself. Pass every decision to me. Oh, yeah. Nothing gets past me. Everything has to go through me. Even how many toilet bills they want to buy. All has to go through, don't worry. Now as we say in Ashtanga, now through to Downward Dog. Are you not going to be much longer in here? Pardon? What? You deaf as well? I said, are you not going to be much longer in here? Only I'm booked at nine o'clock for a spiritual meeting. We're just kind of hoping to... Um... Dick love, I don't care what kind of promise you're on. All I know is, if you're not out by five o'clock, I'm going to lock you in. Oh, and by the way, if I find out who's been blocking my U-Bent, mm -hmm. you're going to need a spiritualist by the time I'm finished with them. Oh, being a 
caretaker has just wanted you to keep a roof over my head. Oh, yeah. I mean, my true calling is communicating with people from the other side. Yeah, I put people back in touch with people that have passed. It's like a um, blind date, but for dead people. It's very popular around here. Oh yes, Kenneth Branagh, Kenny B, sorry. Was allowed to call him, yes. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, oh, here's some of the cast now. I love, no, no, you, 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 no, love, love, you've got to do the voice, do the voice. No, deeper, yeah, yeah. deeper, like, love, deeper. Like no, like the, no, you deeper, the voice deeper. Uh, just one moment of attention, if that's okay. Um, I would very much like to introduce this uh, lovely young man here, it's Tommy, and um, he's going to be playing the lead part of Romeo. The main part, yes. A protagonist. Indeed, yes, the <laughs> protagonist. So um, he is a very esteemed actor and <laughs> we're very, very lucky to be having him come into our ranks. So uh, we've worked with a lot of very good directors. Mm, um, so yeah. I hope you don't mind me. Yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, yes, uh, welcome, welcome. Bonjour now. Who's he? No idea. But I know he's steamed. Yeah, I'm in the uh, spirit world. I um, have an Indian spirit guide, like you do, called Gupta Banerjee. Now what I do is, I smoke the peace pipe and he comes to me in a vision. I used to use those incest candles, but I just kept setting the smoke alarms off, didn't I? Edgar has been invited to say a few words to the company to give them some insight into his literary mindset. Who wants to see some lovely cakes? Mm. Oi. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, mmm. Aren't they lovely dainty cakes? I'd love to eat one of those lovely dainty cakes. But hang on. What if these cakes were something else? How about we call this one Faith? And here is their friend Hope. And who's a comma calling? Why well, it's none other than their old friend. Charity. Faith, hope, and charity in the form of a sponge based confectionery with an icy topping. I know what you're all thinking. You're thinking it's a dream, it's too good to be true. And you'd be right for someone else who's a coming a call. Why, it's none other than reality comes a calling. Now let's see what happens when these three things of virtue meet the mallet of reality. <laughs> now that is what living in the North does to you. Right. Anyone fancy a drink? Right, bud, we're gonna be good this week, okay? Hey, no swear in this time. What do you mean it was me? No, it wasn't me, it was you, you b Right, now this time, what? Haven't you got things you need to be doing? I'm just practicing. Practicing what? Me act. You're not bad, carry old geez. Now get yourself round there and do some work. Come on, but you do. Why did he call me on job? Because I do not jobs here and there. Me real fucking job, what I really want to do is be a kiddies entertainer, you know. I did do, like, you know, where until the f***ing injunction f***ing kicked in. Get yourself out there. Bobby! You, you're going to have the only arm with the stem peck. Get yourself out there, go on. Let him have a sniff your ass. Oh, get yourself out there, get yourself out there. Get yourself out there. 
Okay, so this might seem a little silly, but this is something we used to do before my other players, um, sort of cleanse the room of any bad... Odors? No, uh, negative vibes. <laughs> okay, so we get a piece of paper, right? Um, and we would fold it, so fold it in like this, like so. Can, can you guess what it is, Jen? Oh. It's a piece of paper. No, don't be a spoil sport. It's a little aeroplane. So now we've got our paper planes, all we need to do is uh, gather it all together, all the negative vibes and the chi, and send it on its way, so all we've got left is positive, peace and harmony. Okay, so we're ready with our planes. Okay. One, two, three. Ah! I'm, 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 so I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! I'm so You're not posing for a photograph. <laughs> okay. okay, you're in love. Okay, and you're gonna leave her here on this oh, bench. No. And it's raining and it's Paris, oh. and this is the last time you're gonna see. You've got to catch that train. There's only one train a day, yes. apparently, leaving from Paris. You know, so you are, in fact, you know, you've got to go. This is the last time you will see each other again for a very long time, and you must say goodbye. And it's very emotional. Very sad. It's very sad. But you love each other. Go. French. You gotta speak in French, you're all right. You, yeah, you, we got it, yeah, you got it. Ajab. <laughs> what? Got okay. Carry on. So, right, I, I want to see this. So this is the love, this is the passion, this is the, the final goodbye and you must mean it. Okay, go. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, don't go. I, I have to leave. Why? I have there's only one train a day, and I must get, get it. Get it tomorrow. I Take I'm, me with you. I cannot. I. Okay. I I'll come on the train. Closer, closer, closer. I, can't, closer. I, can't. I love I, you. I love you too, but no, I must leave Paris, I'm away with me. I have to. I'm allergic to the bread. I'm sure no, no. on front. Are you joking? What? Right. Buongiorno isn't even bloody French. All right, it's Italian. Yeah. I don't know why you've got a dog. Why have you got a dog? I don't ever want to know why you've got a... It's easy to be fine, in France. Fine. Is it French poodle? Yes. No, it's not. Okay. Be quiet. For now. All no. right, we'll bring you in okay. when it's your time, okay? Okay. It may never be your time. Stay. <laughs> this is fine. This is nice. This is, um... It's no, no, this is great because, no, no, guys, you know, we're in Paris, it's just a street performer, like, what's it like, just interrupting you, just, you know, come on, get to the feel the emotion, come on, find it back, Please, there we I, go. I, I, I must go, um, All right. I'm, I'm gluten intolerant, uh, good God, the bread, we can, we can, we can, what else is there in Paris to eat? Um, frogs, frogs, we need frogs uh, instead. I, I, oh I cannot, I must go. You I know, must no, leave. well, I'll come with you. you bloody, 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 bloody. Get out, get out of the bloody oh, shot. Oh, God. How are you gorgeous? How are you lovely? Yes, you want a biscuit? She likes him. Oh, he's lovely. What yeah, he likes well. him. His name's Bud. Oh, hello, Bud. Do you want to have a stroke? Have a stroke. Hello, he likes you. Oh, look at this. I'm having a stroke. He likes his crunchy Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He's a good boy. Wookies. Wookies. Yeah. Take five. See you.